In this tutorial, we're going to build a product description generator. So you have your store on Amazon or any e-commerce platform and you like to generate a product description for what you are selling on the e-commerce store. You could use AI to generate that, leveraging on the power of the generative pre-trained language model and using the Mantium no-code platform, you could generate this description for your product and this will go in line with the product name and the search engine optimized keywords so let's get into that before building let me explain how you build that using the mantium no code platform let's talk about the structure of the prompt which you send to the language model to generate the product description so the first thing you have is description of the task and then you have the product name and the search engine optimized keywords followed by the product descriptions and then you have this in multiple examples which will serve as the pattern or examples in the few shots uh, learning approach and we'll send that to the language model so you have the product name followed by the product description and you can have up to three or four or five examples after you, which you add the input and this is the structure of the prompt which you send to the language model to generate the product description so using the Mantium no-code platform you can easily do this and we're going to make use of the OpenAI GPT-3 model. You could use other models which Mantium do make provision for and easily you could generate your product description. So let's get to that. As you can see, I've signed in into the Mantium platform and you can get here by visiting app.mantiumai.com. I'll leave the link in the description. And the first thing you want to do is click on prompt and after clicking on prompt, add a new prompt. So it shows this new window to create your prompt. If this is your first time creating prompt or creating AI applications on Mantium, you want to watch how to connect your AI providers, which is the first step of creating AI applications with the Mantium platform. I'll leave a link to the video in the description and you can also click above to watch that. So you have the name of your prompt here and then you have a description of the application. So we want to build a product description generator for Amazon platform. The next thing to do is come to the right side and choose a provider. So we're working with the OpenAI GPT-3 model and we select OpenAI out of the list of model that Mantium does support and also choose an endpoint. So the endpoint we are going to work with is a completion endpoint which serves for the completion use case and will get the model to complete the input which is the product name and the search engine optimized keywords to generate product description from that. We are going to select the model out of a list of model. We are working with the text query model. I will leave a link in the description if you want to read more on OpenAI models and we'll give our prompt in the prompt text field. So going back to the structure of the prompt in the slide, the first thing we have is the task description, which says given keywords, the system provides product descriptions. So the next thing we want to have are examples and examples where we have the product name and search engine optimized keywords and the descriptions. So we have these one, two, three examples I have about five examples of different product search engine optimized keywords and corresponding descriptions that we'll have on the product page on the Amazon platform. After completing the prompt, which are examples and patterns in a few short learning approach, we want to fill in the settings. So we want to provide the response length. And after the response length, we provide temperature, which controls the creativity of the model, zero being for less creative responses and one being for uh, more creative responses because it's in a range of zero to one. After which we add the stop sequence. The stop sequence is three ash as shown because this is what we have to tell the model where to stop. And then the model knows to stop after each examples and this will prevent multiple generations when we are getting the response back. So let's test this application. We've built this application with Mantium AI platform. And then to test this, we'll grab the product name and search engine optimized keyword on the Amazon platform. I'll grab the product name and then the search engine optimized keyword to generate product description for this particular printer. In the input feed on the Mantium platform, I'll, I'll paste the product name and the search engine optimized keywords and then hit the test run button. So this will give the product description uh, from the model. So you see description and we have product description for this particular HP printer. So you have 
uh, print wirelessly from your smartphone, tablet, and computer, all generated by the OpenAI GPT-3 model using the Mantium platform. So what you can also do with the Mantium platform is you can deploy this and I'll navigate up to the right corner and then hit the deploy button to deploy this to get a single page application and I'll use this to interact with my application and get the product description from that. So this is the deployed page and we can make use of this to get response back from the model. So I'll paste the same input which is the product name and the S search engine optimized keyword for this particular printer and execute. So you can use this to interact with your AI applications that you've built on the Mantium platform. And this essentially uh, gives the product description from these keywords. So as you can see, we have description, print wirelessly, and you can also increase the response length to get more product description. So that's the end of that particular tutorial on how to build a product description generator for your Amazon store or your e-commerce store using the Mantium no-code platform. So thank you for watching. If you need any help or you have more questions, scan this barcode to join us on Discord and I'll be happy to help you out.